Give you praise and glory. Blessed be your name. We command every arrow from the pit of hell return back to sender. We plead the blood of Jesus over this vicinity. And we command the glory and the beauty of God be made manifest. In Jesus' name. Be seated. Shake your neighbors and neighbor. Congratulations. Congratulations. Everything is working. Everything is working. Welcome, back to church. welcome back to church. Say it louder. Say welcome back, to church. welcome back to church. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus over this arena. We command every agent of hell. Your agenda. Your intention. Return back to your head now. We command liberty of spirit. Free flow of God's word. In Jesus name. Are you glad to be in church this morning? If you're glad, put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. I've been feeling like singing, but every time I just want to press deeper, I'm always restrained. I don't know why. But let me just give you the word. You see, this is the last in the series on financial prosperity. Am I right? Talk to me. Am I right? And uh, in one minute, I want you to bow down your heads, pray to God to speak to you. Say, I don't want to hear man, I want to hear you. Go ahead and talk to him. In Jesus' name we pray. I thought you say louder, Amen. amen. I, I want to speak on what I've captured this morning. Positioning yourself for what transfer. 
positioning yourself for wealth transfer. Can you say it louder together? For wealth transfer. I, I want you to know that by God's ordination and plan, it is God's will that you prosper. It is God's will that you succeed in everything you lay your hands upon. But that will not automatically happen. You must just position yourself to function and participate in what God has for you. I want you to follow me carefully now. Also, I want you to know this morning that prosperity is a choice. Somebody say prosperity is a choice. The life you live in today is your choice yesterday. And the life you're going to live tomorrow is your choice of today. Nobody ever wakes up and succeeds by mistake. Nobody ever wakes up and succeeds by accident. There is nothing like accidental success. Every prosperity you celebrate is an intentional act. Prosperity is intentional. Prosperity is deliberate. You have to be intentional. You have to tell yourself, I must succeed. Now listen to this. There is difference between I will succeed and I must succeed. Lift up your right and say this after me. Say, I must succeed. I must can you say it louder than that now? I must succeed. That is, you must establish this fact that financial success is not by mistake. A wise man said, if witches were horses, beggars were what? Right. right. I wish one day, I wish one day, I wish one day. That is the statement of poverty, uh, poor people. Poor people wish, rich people take action. Hello? And the difference between a man that is wealthy today and the one that is begging, stealing, is decision. It's not the devil. You see, the one that wish for you is God. You are not to wish again. He has told you that you, I wish above all things that that may has prosper. That is my intention for you is to prosper. And be in wealth. In health. It didn't stop there. Even ask thy wealth. So. Somebody shall so. Shout it like a Christian here. Now. Every genuine prosperity starts from the soul. And the soul is made up of three major components. Your will. One. Your emotions. Two. And your intellect. Uh, look, look at me everyone here. Yeah. Until you have a strong will. That come concern I will succeed. Your failure is just wrapped. Don't forget, the soul is made up of three components. Your will, your emotions, and your what? Intellect. And God said, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth. That is, even as these three components prospers, your will is prospering, your emotion is prospering, and your intellect prospers. That has to do with your mind. Until your mind is upgraded, prosperity is not in view. 
hear me now until your mind somebody shut your mind say like a Christian here that is mind upgrade is the greatest upgrade mind what dakishana meliado kosababali maranda kiskabadan imalai hear this there are people no matter who prays for them they will never count 10 million not that 10 million is not available their mind somebody say mind you see god is a master's communicator he said i wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health thought john 2 even as thy soul what prospered you know god was telling you he said my desire for you is to prosper my desire for you is to succeed but is on the premise of your soul prosperity that is everything i've said nothing can happen until your soul is upgraded and when we talk about soul upgradement we talked about your intellect your emotion and your what your will a wise man said if there is a will, there will be a way you must succeed in this life amen. i thought you say better amen. amen i say you must succeed in this life That is, if we are talking about prosperity, constant mind upgradement is the greatest thing you can do for yourself. The world is revolving. Why must you be in one place? The job you are doing, people are upgrading every day. Why must you be in one place? Your priority in life is determined by your mind upgradement. Now, when the word priority talks about value, what you place value to is determined by the state of your heart part time. Does that make sense to you now? There are people that place value on cars, place value on clothes, gushy. Huh? Their end is destruction. But there are people that place value on investment. Their end is prosperity. Hello? Does that make sense to someone here? Are you getting blessed this morning? Lift up your right hand and say, I must upgrade my mind. I must upgrade my mind. Say it louder. I must upgrade my mind. Shout it like a Christian here. I must upgrade my mind. Now listen, let me say this striking word. Nothing need to leave somebody to meet you for you to prosper. God can create your own. But you only create your own here this by upgrading your thought pattern. The Lord God spoke and God said, As a man thinketh where? So what? Uh, so is it? That is, if I am going to command genuine wealth, I must on a consistent basis upgrade my mind my emotions my this intellect talks about your mind how do you see money no matter who prays for you no matter how many days fasting you fast if your mind betray your words you are the most stupid person there are people in our world sir that I pray, Lord, bless me. But in their heart, they are thinking that in this country, can anybody truly be blessed? But they just finished praying, Lord, do what? And it's as if God is far. And it's as if God is not in their church. No. You are the one betraying yourself. Can I tell you how you get a miracle? You see, the choir sang, there is a miracle in this place with your name where? Well, that would be a mere song if you don't understand this thing I'm about to show you now. When your word aligns with your thought, a miracle is born. Am I talking to a church? When your words align with what? How does that work? The Bible said, unto him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, put it on the screen, above what? 
that we ever what ask. Hold on. The word ask talks about words. Speaking. Am I talking to church here? The word acts talks about speaking. Unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly. Above all that you ever ask or what? Think. That is in this kingdom there are two channels of making requests. They are what? One is by verbal expression. The second one is by what we call your thought. And it is your thought that graduates to your meditation. Now, if you allow me to say this, your thought is more powerful than your words. Because your thought is what governs your life. That's why you can be telling somebody I love you, but inside your heart you say I hate you. Your final destination is your thought destination. That's why a wise man said the greatest nation in the world is not America. The greatest nation in the world is imagination. That is your thought. Now look at me now. Look up everyone. Sit down. Relax. Look at me. Say I'm looking at you. Are you sure? Take off your thought from me and see yourself in America. That America you watch on the film, if you, even though you've not been there, see yourself. Have you seen yourself coming down from the plane? Are you seeing that? Are you seeing yourself going inside the, uh, the place now? That is, you can be here and see yourself in Lagos. Your thought travel faster than light. The fastest, see, physics, you see, you see, I'll, I'll be a bit touching on physics here. Yeah. I can talk to you and think hundred things at a spot. That is why to upgrade your thought life is the greatest upgradement you can make. Lift up your right hand. Say this after me. Say, my thought is coming alive. Can you say it louder than that? Say like a Christian here. Can I say something big to you? God cannot do anything you have not think him to do. Mm. You are applying for a job. You are already saying, thinking that ah, if they if they not deny me the job, that is the greatest prayer you have prayed. Deny me the job. That is that is why picture is a weapon in the spirit. Somebody say picture, because the Lord said, as far your eyes can see. Now, what the eye does is that the eyes is the entrance to your thought life. Your eyes is an entrance to your life. Now, not just direct entrance. Your eyes sends message to your heart, your thoughts. And your thought governs your life. Am I speaking to somebody here? That is, to upgrade your thoughts is to upgrade your life. In 30 days, you can change your life by changing your thought life. Every sin starts as a thought. And execute as an earth. Every success starts as a thought. And manifest as an action. Nobody ever succeeds by mistake. Nobody. You have to be intentional. You have to be deliberate. And you have to be active. To do this succeed. Lift up your two hands to heaven in your seated position. If your amen can be loud, your voice will be heard on this land. Yeah. If you believe it, to say louder, amen here right now. Yeah. You will succeed. Yeah. I didn't hear that. I said you must succeed. Yeah. I said you must succeed. Yeah. I said you must succeed. Yeah. 